Welcome back to my little channel. Okay, I'm going to say this up front. Normally I say that at the end of the video, but I'm going to say this up front. Criticism, as always, is more than welcome. If you feel that you have something to say, to share, prove that what I'm going to tell you next is not right, by all means do. I know I can be wrong. But at the same time, I do feel this is something worth mentioning. In 2019, over 90% of illegal aliens arrested in the United States had criminal convictions or pending charges. That's not me saying, I mean, well, yeah, it's me saying it now, but this is something that comes from the judicial, uh, how do you call those guys, judicial board? I think it's called Judicial Board. Ray, it's not called Judicial Board. This is something that I'm not saying. This is something that comes from Judicial Watch. Here's the article. More than 90% of illegal immigrants arrested by federal agents in the United States last year had criminal convictions or pending criminal charges, including 65,000 assaults and thousands of sex crimes, robberies, homicides, and kidnapping. Many had extensive criminal histories with multiple convictions, according to the Immigration and Customize, Custom Enforcement, ICE. The 123,000 illegal aliens arrested by the agency's enforcement and removal operation in 2019 had 400 and 89,000 criminal convictions and pending charges. So can you imagine that? That's about three to four charges per illegal alien. I'm sorry, but I know there are people out there who believe that, oh no, yeah, well, we call them illegal, but it's not, they're not really that bad. I'm, I'm sorry, but Four crimes per alien. The Dallas Ice Field Office, which covers North Texas and Oklahoma, led the way by almost 17,000 arrests in the fiscal year of 2019. The overwhelming majority, 12,000 of them, were convicted of crimes and 3,500 of them had pending criminal charges. The Atlanta Field Office, which is responsible for enforcing immigration law in Georgia as well as the South and North Carolinas, ranked second with 13,000th arrest, 8,000 of them convicted for state crimes. And another almost 4,000 illegal aliens had pending criminal charges. We can't keep complaining about people speaking out against the illegal uh, migrants and claim that these people aren't overly represented in crime when they so obviously are. I mean, North Carolina, the elected sheriff recently freed child sex offender to keep his country's sanctuary policy. So there's a guy who has been charged with sex crimes against children, an 11-year-old girl in this case, and they, they knew about him, but they let him go free because he was in a sanctuary city. Makes you wonder if one of the locals, if they committed a sex crime, if they would be let free. Well, obviously, that's silly. No, they won't be. And they shouldn't be, don't get me wrong. But aren't we then measuring with two measurements? Are we now not saying, well, yeah, okay, you know what? You're, you're a foreigner and Johnny Foreigner can do no wrong. So any crime committed by Johnny Foreigner will be forgiven. But um, once, once you were um, uh, once you're patriated, once you're part of our country and you do the same thing, ha, -ha the book will be thrown at you. And it will be thrown hard. Is it really me that sees that this is an, um, an issue? 
I'm going to leave this out here for a bit. You can read it. Link will be provided. But how bizarre is it that the vast majority of the criminals that are considered to be illegal aliens are to be protected whilst the populace who actually would need this protection are to be ignored as i said about 130 let's say 130,000 illegals got arrested and amongst them there were 400,000 almost 500,000 crimes something tells me that the politicians have been lying to you guys something tells me you should listen to your legal migrants because the legal migrants have been saying for years please do something against illegal immigration because it's hurting our communities but um yeah as long as the democratic party thinks that they can win votes because of this i guess anyway criticism as always is more than welcome i hope to hear and see and read what you think and i hope to see you all next time <laughs>